Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Ogre Battle 64. My name is HJ, and I'm not wearing any pants. Just thought you guys would like to know that currently pants is doing commentary. This is a new thing for me, I normally wear pants. Decided against it this time because it's hot out. Yeah man, Buffalo gets kind of warm in the in the summer, I don't know what happens. Maybe like the, the sun changes its angle or whatever the hell you learned in science class. I don't know, but not wearing any pants. This is boring organized screen time, I know, y'all don't care for it, but it's cool because I'm just going to talk over it anyway, so what I'm doing is I'm finding random fighters that can change into wizards via the class change menu, and then I'm taking them out of their respective units and putting them into their own because like I said before, like I'm going to continue to do, I need to get more units. That, that's what this game's all about, having a big army at the end of the game. So that way, when you fight thousands and thousands of guys, you can go, well, I also have thousands and thousands of guys to counter you. So I'm looking for people that can change into wizards, and I'm pulling them out, and if they can't, like, this guy's only good enough to be a knight, so I'll turn him into a knight so he gets a defense boost. I think that's fair. And, uh, again, trying, not really working so well, so he can knight up. And overall, I think we do pretty well with the new unit in this mission, the one that I'm about to make. Because, I mean, it's not exactly, I don't know, easy to make a decent unit out of, like, remnants and leftovers. And guys who just changed class are not going to be that strong. So, yeah, this is where I remove guys and swap them over and what have you. So, again, this is going to be the new format of Ogre Battle video. So, this one you'll get the organized screen, you'll get the... Uh, mission intro in like the first couple minutes and then next time it just fast forwarded whatever I'm thinking about not even commentating that one and just playing like random music in the background I mean something different it'll save me from uh, trying to come up with a theme of the video I can tell you that cuz uh, I'm not really uh, I'm running out of stuff I don't I don't know I mean I like to give good content oh I do a swap here for the weaker one, I think. No, I picked the stronger one, that's right. Because what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to turn her into a cleric. So I pick my strongest uh, character, because I'm already overpowered as it is, so I figure I could take the hit. And I think that's where I do that here. Yeah. I turn her into a cleric. Once you change her, you can't change it back because it's a holy thing and whatever. I don't care. Clerics are always good, so. Anyway, that, that was the point of that, and I got a cleric and whatever else in that unit now, so. I mean, like I was saying, it's not difficult for me to come up with, like, a theme for a video. It's just, you know, sometimes you want to have an idea of what you're saying when you go in. I do a lot of these things ad lib, like, I say whatever's on the top of my head. Like, the no pants thing, that was just. Yeah, what, whatever, but. You know, if I have to come up with uh, 15 minutes of commentary for something I know that isn't uh, going to be the most stellar gameplay, it's going to be all, oh, leather and repeat battles for 15 minutes. Well, i got to come up with something awesome. So that's why I'm thinking about doing music for that one. What I'm doing here is I bought all the colored spellbooks either last episode or two episodes ago, I forget. And this is so I can make everybody have a, a theme when they fight. Like, you can see default, she's got Ice Blast. If we give her Book of Water, it increases her stats a little bit, so her attacks are more powerful. So, little pro tip for that, it gives you plus three int for using a special spell book. It's pretty cool, so. I don't know, I'll figure something out. I mean, not too worried about it, but... It, it is what it is, I guess. I mean, Soldier Reserves, we can create more fighters, create more units. It's... Good stuff, and I'm gonna have one hell of an army. But, uh. So, ending in chapter one was last time. Sorry if I got a little distracted there. Ending in chapter one was last time. I had some epic cutscene going on, and this is the beginning of chapter two as soon as we get there. And this is where the game starts to take off a little bit. You're, you feel more comfortable in the way you're playing the game because you've played about. Well, normally you'd play about five hours of it. I've probably got like double that invested because of my uh, needness to make sure we kill everybody and level up as much as possible. But you're starting to get a feel for the game now, and 
you know what you gotta do to succeed, and guys are getting stronger, and the plot starts to thicken, and when I was playing, like, this is normally where that I found that I really wanted to play this game a lot more. This is where I kind of came in and went, okay, yes, this game has a hold on me. I do like playing this game a lot. I'm going to invest a lot of time into this game. This is roughly where that starts. So continuing back to Malaysia, and we get ambushed? Scene 10, Idealism and Realism. What's wrong? We don't have time to spare. Our scout was ambushed. By whom? Is it the Western Division? They're already this close to us? Actually, it doesn't seem like it's them, but they are hostile towards us for sure. That's right, kiddies. We got ambushed. Or our scout got ambushed, anyway. Town of Baldera, blah blah blah. We got to go that way. Fort Tuatha. We must capture the fort. Of course. So we had a huge troops on the other side of the river, but they're not expecting us. Across the river, we must use one of two bridges to send over air units. Try to be attacked once we're on the other side. Of course. When they're coming to us, we have to go to them. Yeah. Not exactly easy. Like, oh, it's only, you know, it's only four things in a fort, right? We'll be okay. Yeah. About that. Looks easy enough. It's small enough. It's like a day northwest of here, kinda. We should be alright, right? Yeah. Not so much. Reasoning why I say that is, when they say there's a lot of units across the bridges, there are a lot of units across the bridges. Holy crap. Like, you want to talk about unprepared? That's what my guys are. Unprepared to the fullest extent. Now, if I had better planning and stuff, I could have, you know, probably prepared for this a little bit better, but I didn't. And why didn't I prepare good enough for this? Well, like I said, I'm, I'm in the many stages of many unit creation, so some people right now will have four or five decently strong units that can plow through everything. I've got eight somewhat strong units, and, uh, you know, somewhat strong kind of doesn't get the job done. I mean, it does, it just takes a while. So... That's kind of what we're up against, and I gotta leave somebody sitting behind, you know, as a just in case. And all right, play, press play, whatever. I noticed during this walk that Leia cuts right through the planes because her unit is actually a planes type, so she's just able to cut right through and take less time than Asdabel has to walk around. So I found that to be pretty interesting. But uh. Yeah, this uh, mission took a lot longer than I expected. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was still it was still a good mission. I did get a lot of stuff done, a lot of people leveled, and I turned some uh, midgets in to fight soldiers, or whatever you want to call it. I leveled those guys up, so the next organized screen I do is going to be awesome. And I'll probably try and leave that one uncommentated, but you'll see what I'm talking about when we get there. The skip section is no joke, probably about 45 minutes worth of content. And I just, just, a lot of shit happened in there, and it's not important. There's no, like, plot elements or anything like that, so you have to worry about that, but just the amount of guys I leveled up, the amount of battles I had to fight, and oh my god, I'm glad I switched to this new format. Because I would wear myself out. It would not be good. <clears throat> oh, cutscene. I declare, in the name of those who strive for the revolution, the revolution will fall if we do things your way. You get it? You're not wanted. Your presence is a burden. Blah, blah, blah. Die for us right here. Naga. No guy. I'm good. Sorry, bro. Maybe next time. So Leia gets that cutscene. It's kind of weird. Alright. Not something I'm too, uh, concerned with. It wasn't, like, a major one, but... And I think I'm going to have to eventually level up Leia's unit to the point where she'll have, like, not Valkyries in the front. Maybe something, like, with power. I don't know, I mean, they're cool, but, like, the archers are doing more damage in the back. And, like, I can have wizards and sorceresses right now who do more damage. 
maybe maybe I'll have to look into changing that. I mean, I know I can't change Leia, but the people around her maybe. So, see what happens with that. Asmin Bell taking it from the side. And in this uh, in this mission too, you start to see a little bit more of that combined magic I was talking about. I mean, my I don't know if you really really pay attention to the damage and all that, but my wizards and sorceresses are a little bit stronger than they were last time because of the new spell books, and that does actually come into play. Sorry, I tried to mute myself whenever I have to make a bodily function, but I couldn't get to the mic in time. But uh, you'll see that definitely come into play if you're gonna pay attention at all. And, and there we go. First level up right there. We got a fighter right away. So that's pretty cool. That, uh... That's well, what I'm all about, actually. So... You can kind of see the guys forming across the bridge there. And we're getting ready to get over there, but we're... Planning up, making sure once we get to that other side of the bridge, we know we're going to get ambushed. It's It's been discussed previously, so... We're gonna get everybody right close to there and get ready to bulk up. Haters, you're getting weak. We're bulking up. <clears throat> I think I should make more cleric units. I don't know though. It's kinda debatable. I mean, they're useful, but, you know, they're not as effective as killing things quickly with another attacker, but. Right, I, I swapped the actual fighter in front, so he does a little bit more damage. And I said, oh, wild platinum dragon, awesome! I could totally use one of these in my units, it'd be great. Let's go to find, and then he runs away. Sad. Uh, you don't know how good that would have been. I would have tossed him in, probably in front of that unit right there, though, the midgets. And that would have been a beast mode unit, but it didn't really happen. So, we're deciding to head on over. Eventually, we get to the bridge, and you'll see where everything starts to go to hell. Might have to split this up a little bit better. Let's see what happens. Cue into a little bit of super fast mode, and holy crap, look at all those guys. Yeah, you can see what I'm talking about. So, uh, wrap it up after this battle. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And if you care to watch all the more battles, that's what you're going to get in next episode of Crap Ton of Battles. We'll see you next time. Let's play Overbrow 64.